Welcome back, viewer. Now, honest question. Those of you who are new to this channel, maybe never seen it before, do you honestly trust our media? National polling says no, unless you're a Democrat. If you're a Democrat watching this video, consider this. Our media and the government has spent large amounts of time trying to convince the public that January 6th was something on par with 9-11 and even World War II. As insane as it is, Democrats have even compared it to the Civil War. Even though out of 120,000 people that showed up, only a few hundred actually got violent. Most of the charges involved with January 6th are trespassing. But our media has always purposely cherry-picked pictures that portray it in the worst possible light and showing the most chaos. Or how about this picture of gallows, which the media used to endlessly claim that the protesters were going to hang Mike Pence and other politicians. Those pictures are intentionally misleading. Strangely, there are very few pictures out there showing this gallows for what it is, a miniature, non-functional replica, and also not an unusual prop for Democrat protests. But I know, I know, it's different when they do it. He's in, boys! He did it! He said it! <laughs> Given this and other many misleading claims from the media surrounding January 6th, why would you trust them? The government, the Democrats, and their media all seem pretty bloodthirsty when it comes to January 6th and the people involved. It's strange that for years we were told that riots were justified because supposedly unarmed people were being gunned down by police. But all of that went out the window when Ashley Babbitt, who was unarmed, was shot by a Capitol Police officer, who they now call heroic. There was absolutely no reason to shoot Ashley Babbitt, just like none of the other officers that day felt the need to shoot anybody. Why was Ashley Babbitt there in the first place? Well, you could certainly put some of the blame, at least, on people like Ray Epps, who you see here now inciting people for several days to riot and enter the Capitol. He became the face of a conspiracy theory that the government instigated the Capitol attack for a single reason. He was never charged for what he did on January 6th. In reality, prosecutors declined to file charges against thousands who breached the barricades, but never entered the Capitol. But they don't even mention the fact that he's on video multiple nights inciting people and telling them to enter the Capitol. And he's also on video engaging in some of the violence. Here's Ray Epps actually involved in the fighting with riot police. Yet, for some reason, this man was never charged. Grandmas with cancer who just went in and walked around were charged and put in prison, but somehow Ray Epps escapes any kind of culpability? On top of that weirdness, according to Democrats and their media, Ray Epps is also a victim. I find it odd that you all are defending one of the people who assaulted the Capitol. Defending who? Ray Epps. I, I, I literally have no idea what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Five minutes later. Mr. Epps does not work for the FBI. Mr. Epps is not an FBI agent. For It is uh, perfectly clear he's just another conservative right-wing person who participated in the mob violence. He was one of tens of thousands. Uh, who participated, and he basically says his life has been turned into hell by this conspiracy theory because they've turned on him and tried to blame it on him. Apparently, all that he did is when the FBI put his name out as somebody who was there, he got in touch with them um, in a hurry in order to try to tell exactly what he knew and what he didn't. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. Let's turn to the Ray Epps conspiracy theory. Um, Let's watch a clip of Epps. Uh, uh, the uh, of the well, it, there is this clip of, of Epps the night before the insurrection and then during the insurrection. But we're not going to show it to you because that would destroy our cover up. Uh, the night before, he says, "Tomorrow we need to go to the Capitol peacefully, peacefully." Uh, and then on January 6th, he says, "Take a step back. We're holding ground. We don't want to get hurt." And the crowd is chanting, "Fed, Fed, Fed." Now you tweeted a rather colorful thread about this baseless conspiracy. Uh, excuse me. Um, what the f did you just say? Do you even know the meaning of the word baseless? You just admitted that there's video of him inciting and telling people to go to the Capitol. Then, in the very next breath, you say it's a baseless conspiracy theory. That's right. Members of the media and Democrats themselves have said on many occasions that Ray Epps is actually a victim of conspiracy theories. But just take a look at these pictures that our media constantly uses to portray this guy, who, again, is on video inciting riots and specifically telling people to enter the Capitol. Where are those pictures? Like I showed you earlier, they 
use the worst possible pictures when it comes to January 6th, unless it comes to Ray Epps. Now, I've actually seen several people on Twitter already defending Ray Epps, saying that he was never charged because it's a First Amendment issue, which just blows my mind because all we ever hear from these people is that the First Amendment has limits, and they always point to shouting fire in a crowded theater. How is this not that exact thing? Well, this conspiracy theory has gotten even more absurd, with Ray Epps' lawyer demanding that Tucker Carlson retract, quote, false and defamatory statements about accusations that he was a January 6th government provocateur and issue a, quote, formal on-air apology for the lie. <laughs> <laughs> He's on video. He's on video inciting a riot for multiple days. What the f folks? All I know is that it makes zero sense that the government, the Democrats, and the media, all who clearly hate January 6th and anybody associated with it, aren't coming down as hard as they can on Ray Epps and instead have actually turned him into a victim and are defending him. If January 6th was really the worst thing to happen since the Civil War, then why wouldn't Ray Epps be enemy number one? Instead, no charges, and he's removed from the FBI's wanted list. All right, folks, make of that what you will, but to me, it's just another glaring example of why you can't trust the media and how they have no problem lying to your face when you know they're lying. That's all I have for that one. I hope you all found it interesting and informative. If you did, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, make sure to leave a comment to help that algorithm. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on the next one.